Hey everybody, Ed here. What's up? And today I went uh, shopping in a uh, city that's called Rochester. And if you are uh, if you live in New York, you might know where I'm talking about. And basically I go up to this place every, uh, it's about an hour drive. And I go up to this place pretty much uh, every couple of months. For uh, I'm up there when I have my uh, diabetes checkup. As you probably all know that I have type 1 diabetes. But anyway, while I'm up there, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of shops that I normally have no access to anywhere else. Like, there's a Toys R Us up there. It's the only Toys R Us within anywhere. It's an hour away. And there's a shop called Hammer Girl Anime where they sell all this anime stuff. And I, uh, I stopped by Toys R Us, and I stopped by Hammer Girl, and I got some cool stuff today. So I thought I'd make a little video and show it off. And uh, first stuff I got, this actually, this is not mine technically because I actually... I ran in and I picked this up for Connor. I'm just going to leave it in the bag. He is into the Gundam 00 manga a lot. So he uh, needed these four to complete his collection. So I picked these up for him. He's going to pay me back tomorrow in school when I, bring, when I bring those to him. And now on to my stuff. Uh, I've been watching Evangelion lately. Neon Genesis Evangelion. And I uh, really like it. And at the shop, they uh, don't really let people go in their back because they have an online store. And they don't normally let people go in the back because in the back is where they keep all the stuff that they sell on the online shop. And they let me go back there because I'm such a frequent customer. So uh, I found these. They had one left of each. Ray Ayanami Revoltech and Asuka Revoltech. Very cool, very cool figures. Uh, Oscar was thirty nine bucks. Let's see, what does it say here? Uh, something price forty one. Marked on a forty, and Ray was twenty three. So yeah, these are uh, really really nice figures, and they had they had so many of these at that shop, and. I uh, I remember seeing them and I was so interested in it. And I remember when I finally watched the series, like all the they got rid of like all their Evangelion stuff. So they let me, they uh, have one left in the back and they let me take it. And then this, which is some little uh, Gashapon thing. Uh, Petite Ava, you and I. It's like these little drink things that have angels on them. I got one with a. Got an angel on it and this little can which has Oscar. It's a little coffee can. It's so cute. I love it. Uh, I kind of wanted one with a human on it, but it's eh, it's a random figure. I love it. I love Gashapon. So yeah, there's that. And this is oh yeah, and also this uh, this version of Oscar is the 2.0 version apparently, so it's like better. So I'll put these over there and. On to the American toys. Yes, I support Japan and America. Well, I shouldn't say American toys, but I don't know. Oh, well. Um, I went to Toys R Us, and I had seen these things. My friend Mike had told me about them, and they're called Bot Shots. And they're these little Transformer things that are like game pieces. It's a battle game. You crash them, and it's like rock, paper, scissors, apparently. And uh, they looked pretty interesting. They had all the characters. They had a ton of different ones. But they were five bucks each, so I just got Optimus. I figured I'd just buy one and see how much I liked it. And if I really like it and I want to get more, I'm going to go pick up more. But yeah, they have these. And uh, they look like fun. I don't know. Kind of cute. Anyway, I've been on a hunt for figures from a certain new Transformer series that came out a little while ago. And... Any of my Transformer subscribers probably know what I'm talking about. And that is the Transformers Prime line. And I finally found the one that I was looking for for so long. Mr. Wheeljack. Finally found this guy. And right next to him was Cliff Jumper. And they were the only two that weren't Bumblebees. This literally was all they had besides fucking Bumblebees. But... 
uh, they actually, no, they had these and they had Optimus, but Optimus was like 26 bucks. And my friend Sebastian actually got Optimus at Toys R Us, returned it, and then went to Walmart and got it for a much cheaper price. So I'm going to get that. But anyway, so I looked at these guys and then I scanned them and then I realized that they said, it didn't say this anywhere near the figures, but I actually went to one of those price checker things and they actually said, buy two, get one free. So I was like, okay. So I just went to the checkout and I was like, hey, you know, I, I scanned these under the price thing. I, d I don't know if these are actually buy two, get one free because they mess up a lot. So I had the cashier check out and she's like, yep, they are free. So I went back and I snagged Bumblebee. And I really don't even need Bumblebee because I already have the first edition Bumblebee, but this one is a little different. But yeah, I mean, it was free. So I mean, <laughs> why not? So yeah, I snagged, uh, snagged these guys. And I, I really do want that Prime. I think I'm going to try to get that when I go back. And about, I'm actually going back out there in six weeks. So, yeah. Um, let me get these guys all set up. Okay, final display. Ugh, don't falling down, Oscar. Ugh, pretty good haul. I always, I always get a pretty nice haul whenever I'm out there of cool stuff. And there it is, all the stuff. So yeah, uh, leave a comment below on what you want to see reviewed first, and I'll get right on that. So, see you later guys.